Hello and welcome. My name is Amulli and you are watching Tube Mint. I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Java JDK 11 which is LTS release. So let's go ahead and download it first before we install it on Microsoft Windows 10, 7, 8 or 8.1 whatever you have. So go ahead and fire up your browser. I'm going to use Google Chrome and go to this URL. I'm going to leave this URL in the description as well so you can find it easily. You can copy and paste it from there or you can take it from here as well. Pause the video and just copy it from here. Okay so once you are on this page uh, you simply scroll down. So this is the most latest release of 13 uh, but you can see here is a notice kind of thing. So it's kind of recommended to use Java JDK because that is going to be that is already an LTS release. Okay, you also have JDK 12, which you can try. But in this video, we are going to download and install JDK 11, which is again LTS release. So go ahead and click on the download button here. One more thing, you need to have an account, okay? So you must be signed in to download the this um, JDK on your system. So on the downloads page, scroll down and click on this accept license agreement. And for Microsoft Windows, there are two types of downloads. So it has to be 64-bit system, only then it's going to work. So check your system type, simply go ahead and click on this. Uh, start menu and type system and hit enter and this is going to tell you what type of system you have okay uh, 64 bit I don't know I don't see it so what else you can do is basically press the windows key and pause break button on your keyboard and this takes you to this uh, basic information about the computer so here you can see system type 64-bit operating system 64-bit uh, processor as well so that's what you need to have in order to download and install java jdk 11 on your microsoft windows system so there are two downloads link links here so i would recommend you go with this exe file because this is going to make your life easier when it comes to installing this on your system so i'm going to click on it and this will take you to this uh, login page on your system i'm already logged in here okay so this is 151 mb i'm not logged in but i was logged in just some time back so sometimes it asks for sign in or sign up so you need to have an account created if you do not have it's not possible to download it so okay so let the download complete and I'll be right back welcome back so you can see JDK 11 has been downloaded so go ahead and show, click on show all and here you can simply click on it or just locate the uh, JDK on your system and then double click on it now just click on this like this so here is the okay it's kind of security pop up here on microsoft windows 10 it is going to ask me whether i allow this installation so click install anyway then hit on yes and this is going to down install this on this microsoft windows 10 computer prepare preparing the installation click next and leave everything as they are and this is the path uh, I literally want to change a little bit so I'm going to make it like Java 11 let me check okay so like this oh -ho. here we go okay so hit next Now, it shouldn't take long time 
and once it's in installed i'm going to verify the java and java compiler as well using the command prompt so it's just trying to extract the installer and let's see okay so what does it say complete now you can successfully install now you can go ahead and close it so there's a problem with this jdk java thing here so after installation it doesn't put it on i suppose it doesn't so it, yeah it doesn't put it on the system path and uh, so what we need to do we need to go ahead and uh, put it on the system path the very easiest one is go ahead and click on the start menu and type variable and you will get this edit system variable uh, environment variable just hit on it and then go to environment variables uh, under system variables this is going to be for every user on the system select the path and hit edit and then what we need to do we need to go ahead and locate that bin folder so this is going to be under C and program file because this was 64 bit and then here we have Java and then Java JDK go under bins folder this bin folder and copy the location once you have taken the location go ahead go back to this edit environment variable click on edit sorry not edit click on new and then paste it here click OK okay okay three times relaunch the terminal and now if i say java version it will give me 11.0.4 uh, which is lts if i say java c which is compiler uh oh sorry so here we have if you go ahead and you quickly try an application it's going to compile and do things so here we are here demo I've got demo here and what I need to do I need to simply go ahead and try one so I will say Java C demo dot Java and hit enter so it successfully compiled it now what I need to do I need to say Java and then say it is kind of um, case sensitive so you'll have to be cautious when you write these uh, words so you can see this did work so voila it's working now if you have any issue installing and setting this to system path please leave your questions and comments below in the uh, comment area if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching have a good day happy coding goodbye for now